today's video is going to be this devil look for you guys. I made these devil horns out of Model Magic and I think this look came out pretty cool. The contacts that I'm wearing are from PinkyParadise.com and they're just like the white mesh ones and they have like the black outer rim. These are actually really comfortable contacts except you can't really see when you look into light like everything's foggy. If you're gonna plan to wear these out you definitely can't drive with them in. So I wanted to do a devil look but I wanted to be a little bit different so I didn't make my face red or anything. I made my face as if I was like a dead devil girl and that is why my face is kind of like a gray blue color with hints of red around the eyes and the lips. I think red and blue are a great color combo. I really like those colors together. So I personally like this look a lot. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna paint your face a grayish blue color. And I'm gonna be making a customized color with my Mehran Paradise Water Activated Paints Palette. So I'm basically just gonna take the gray color and a light blue color, mix them together, and then paint my face with it. white face paint I'm gonna highlight my under eyes my forehead a little bit on my cupid's bow my chin and a little bit on my nose so now I'm gonna be setting my face with some sugar pill taco and some sugar pill home sweet home taco and putting it on all my highlighted areas on my face. So now I'm going to be taking my Pastel Goth palette by Kat Von D and I'm going to be taking the color Dagger and we're going to be using that as a contour shade today. you're gonna want to go in with some white eyeshadow and I'm using taco by sugar pill to really highlight the areas on your face that you want highlighted so your cupid's bow nose cheekbones and middle of your forehead so for the eyes I'm gonna be taking sugar pills love plus and we're gonna be doing a very sloppy smoky eye I'm also gonna drag this down my cheek too some MAC Cherry Lip Liner and lining my waterline. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I'm also going to be applying some taco to the inner corner to brighten it up. I'm going to be applying my favorite lashes in the style Amore by Coco and these are probably the last time I'm going to wear them because they are super old. So while my lashes are drying I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'm going to kind of do a gradient with some black and red. lips and I'm gonna be going in with Jeffree Star's Red Rum. So now onto the fun part. I made some of these little horns that we're gonna put on our forehead and I just made this out of Model Magic and basically all I did was I made kind of like a cylinder shape and then I put it in my palms and I went like this with it. 
and then I just shaped it the way I wanted it so I wanted it to be a little bit curved so when we put it on our head this way it's gonna be like pointing up so with the NYX dribble eye pencil I'm gonna mark where I want the horns to be so I know where they're gonna go exactly so to attach the horns to your head you're gonna need some spirit gum and I'm just gonna be using this Ben Nye spirit gum and I am just gonna put this on my forehead where I want the horn and then we're gonna wait until this is tacky and we're gonna apply the horn I'm also gonna put some spirit gum on the bottom of the horn as well so I just ended up painting this like an off yellow color because I didn't want it to be stark white because I wanted them to be kind of like old. And then once they're on my head, I'm going to put some brown on the bottom of the horn, but I wanted to wait until they were on my head first. Now I'm going to go in with a layer of liquid latex around the base of the horn so it's really secure and looks like it's coming out of your skin. first layer on of latex you can go ahead and put on a layer of latex around it and then you're going to want to put another layer of latex over top the cotton are drying we're gonna go in with some bulletproof by sugar pill and I'm just gonna put this on the outer perimeter of my mouth in my nostrils so when the latex is done drying you will know because it'll turn a yellow color so I ended up letting this dry for about 10 minutes and then it still wasn't really dry so I went in with my blow dryer on warm heat and blue dry it for about like three minutes so now we are ready to start coloring the liquid latex and I'm gonna be coloring it the same color that I did my face I am gonna powder it with some Home Sweet Home by Sugar Pill. I'm also gonna start the shading, and I'm gonna be taking Dagger from the Pastel Goth Kat Von D palette and do some shading around the horns to make it look like there's some bruising. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna take your tweezers and you're gonna wanna pull apart the latex at the base of the horn so it looks like your skin is coming up. Now I'm gonna go in with some red face paint and paint the inside of where the cuts are. some Makeup Geek Cherry Cola and put some red bruising around the cut and on the horn. So now that we have the base for the blood, I'm going to go in with some Ben Nye's Thick Blood. I 
also gonna put some blood around my eyes, my nose, and my lips. Last but not least, we're gonna splatter some uh, red face paint up by the horns, a little bit by our nose, and our lips. So here's my final look, you guys. I really like how this devil girl came out. I uh, like the horns a lot, and these contacts definitely make the look even better. So guys, you should comment down below what you think tomorrow's video is gonna be, because I'd love to know your guesses, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye!